Hi and welcome to our latest video where we want to talk to you about making the most of Viva Insights. If you are not already familiar with Viva Insights already, it was released early last year by Microsoft 365 and was designed to help organisations and individuals monitor well-being in different ways and recommending ways to improve it. This is important for businesses not just because it's crucial to take care of your employees but also Companies who do prioritise their employees' well-being have found to have been 25% more profitable than those who don't. For individuals, Viva Insights allows for focus time which blocks out time in your calendar so you can not be disturbed and focus on your priority tasks. Viva Insights also learns about you and begins to understand your, your workday through AI giving you personal insights and recommendations on how to make a more productive day. Microsoft have built in plenty of great features to encourage employee well-being, including daily mood surveys and a daily wrap-up, so that users can visualise their daily achievements, prepare for upcoming day and mindfully disconnect from the office. For management, Viva Insights is useful for identifying any risk factors and, and it provides useful insights and recommendations on how to improve team management for best productivity. Managers will also be able to monitor team cohesion by viewing collaboration and interconnection me metrics. You can then track how collaborative your team are. Management can also use Viva Insights to track individual well-being metrics and expand to the whole organisation. For example, seeing how many people are working overtime and maybe a risk at burning out. So let's take a look at what Viva Insights looks like. So as we go into our Teams app, we want to go into Apps at the bottom there and search for Viva Insights. Once we've found this, you'll need to install it if you haven't already and we can actually then pin this to our taskbar. So we can pin it onto the left so that it's easily accessible for us, which we'll show you how to do. So you just want to go ahead and right click on the tab and then go ahead and click on pin and then automatically it will stay on the side of your taskbar there. So as we take a look into insights, we can see different tiles all over the page. So if we go from the top, insights checks in on how you're feeling with different emojis to choose from. Then once you have clicked this, you can then go into reflection history and see your previous ratings and reflect on what's changed. In the second part, there is an activities for you section where you can do things like send praise to your colleagues. So once we click into this, we can then choose a name and a note and send praise to a colleague that has done something to help us. On the right hand side, you have the ability to set a reminder for repeat praises. So you can do this regularly and acknowledge your colleagues help more frequently. So you can see here, we're just setting a day and a time to be reminded to send praise to our colleagues. The other activities in this section are partnered with the app Headspace so you can watch videos that help practice mindfulness for example, there's the focus one there, whether you're stressed, listening to others and working from home, how to end your day. So these just help practice mindfulness and aim to increase your well-being. There's also some focus music at the end there for focus time. If we then go ahead and take a look at the bottom section of the insights, this area is the top actions for today section where you can see Microsoft to do's, get reminders of tasks and unread emails as well as booking focus time. So if we go into this, it automatically takes us to the protect time heading where we can schedule where we can schedule focus time with reminders of times and dates to do so. During these times, chats are muted to allow for better concentration. So you can choose here the different days where you'll be reminded to just schedule some time to focus. Then if we take a look in the Stay Connected heading at the top, we can see any recent relevant messages from colleagues or collaborators. We can then report these completed by clicking down when these messages are no longer relevant. This just allows you to sift through your messages a bit easier. It also just highlights anything that you may have missed and it will just show you how productive you're being because once you have clicked done for both of these, it will show you that you're all caught up on any messages. So you can see the features in Viva Insights are really pushing for better well-being amongst employees and it can also be very beneficial for better productivity too. That is all for today's video, I hope this was helpful and as always subscribe for more tips and tricks.